Hey guys, it's Sandra here, and as you may have guessed, today's video is a head-to-head -head challenge comparing PNS Beadmaker, Meguiar's Hybrid Ceramic Wax, Turtle Wax Seal and Shine, and Mother's CMX. Now I've done individual videos on all these four sealants if you're after some more specifics about any one of them. But today's video will be a direct comparison of these sealants, evaluating them in six categories which are gloss, slickness, water behaviour, chemical resistance, their user experience and cost and value. And in each category I'm going to give them a score of 1 to 4 respectively. And just before we get started I want to quickly address something. I realised that a lot of you guys watch reviews on various channels and you may see various opinions and outcomes that conflict with one another. It's really important to understand that there are a lot of variables at play when testing something like a spray sealant, such as the environment it's applied in, the preparation of the paint, the lighting used to film the footage, and the specific strength chemicals methods used to test them, just to name a few. But the one thing that's really important is that all the sealants that are tested against one another are all applied in the same manner, on the same panel, at the same time, and tested in the same way. That's what gives you fair and reliable data and results. And you absolutely don't have to agree with my thoughts or opinions, as your needs or wants may be different. But I hope you can appreciate that these videos are a lot of work, so I also hope that you can respect that I've been as transparent, clear and fair as I can, so you guys can make your own informed decisions. So round one was evaluating the ability of each of these sealants to add gloss, depth and amplify the paint. The paint was purposely left with haze in the finish so that it would show up better on camera and so that you guys could see what I was seeing in person a little better. Each of the sealants was applied to a section of the panel and then masked directly with the opposing sealant so that once again the results could be seen clearly in the footage. And the panel was left to cure for 24 hours before analysing the results. Now I'm going to give my opinion while you guys can also draw your own conclusions. But for me personally, there is a clear winner here that has been able to seriously fill a lot of that haze and add quite a bit of gloss and depth to the finish, which is Meguiar's Hybrid Ceramic Wax. Sometimes it can be hard to see which one is really better in these kinds of tests. But even from a distance, Hybrid Ceramic Wax is really a couple of steps ahead of the next best one, which again, I think it's pretty obvious that second place goes to Turtle Wax Seal and Shine. There's also another few steps down, leading to third place, which goes to Mother's CMX. That is a little disappointing in this area. And last place is pretty obviously taken by PNS Beadmaker, that I'm honestly struggling to see much of an improvement over the bare paint at all. So I'm going to give 4 points to Hybrid Ceramic Wax, 3 points to Seal and Shine, 2 points to CMX and 1 point to Beadmaker for their ability to boost gloss and improve the look of the paint. The second round of testing was slickness or the lack of friction that each of these sealants creates in their finish. Much like the previous test panel, all sealants were applied in a similar manner and the panel was left to cure for 24 hours before testing.
As we have a look at my old ceramic coating bottle sliding along the surface, I'll start by saying that all these sealants feel nice and sleek. It's not like any one of them feel bad or grippy, but there are different levels of slickness. And even without using the coating bottle, I can fairly easily tell the bead maker is the slickest of the four, and it honestly feels extremely silky. The other thing that I can tell quite easily is that hybrid ceramic wax is the least silky or slick of the four, just having a little more grip or friction than the others. But it was honestly hard deciding on second and third place, as both Seal and Shine and CMX are really close when it comes to their nice slick feel. But I'm not going to give any draws here, and if I had to choose one that's perhaps ever so slightly slicker, I'd give it to Seal and Shine. So in the slickness test, Beadmaker gets 4 points, Seal and Shine gets 3 points, CMX 2 points, and Hybrid Ceramic Wax gets 1 point. The next round was Hydrophobic Water Behaviour, testing how quickly these sealants both sheep water as well as the contact angle of the water beads they create. I'll let you have a bit of a look at the water behaviour first, and then I'll jump in with my thoughts. Now based on the results with this test panel, as well as my past experience with all these sealants, there is one clear winner here when it comes to superior water behaviour with exceptional tight water beads and super quick water sheeting, which is far and away Meguiar's hybrid ceramic wax. And although both Seal and Shine and CMX do have some pretty decent hydrophobic qualities, they just really aren't quite in the same league. The section with hybrid ceramic wax just rejects the water that much quicker, and those beads are just so supple and almost perfectly round, which isn't a level of water behaviour that your average spray sealant displays. On the other side of the spectrum, Beadmaker just really doesn't display what I'd consider to be acceptable water behaviour for a quality spray sealant. It's just so slow to sheet the water, and the beads are flat, oddly shaped puddles that just couldn't be more different to hybrid ceramic wax. So 4 points for first place here obviously goes to Hybrid Ceramic Wax. And although on this particular panel, Seal and Shine is performing better than CMX, you'll see on the next test panel coming up a little later, 
the CMEX is displaying better hydrophobic behaviour than seal and shine. And based on all my testing and past reviews on these sealants, I do need to give CMEX second place here and three points for its overall hydrophobic water behaviour. So then two points to seal and shine and one point to beadmaker. The next round was chemical resistance, which tends to also give an indication of how the sealant should hold up in relation to durability. Now I've done some further chemical resistance testing on all these sealants in their past reviews on this channel. So in this video, I just stuck to using a strip car wash detergent to display the results. Once again, I think it's pretty clear in this test, as well as in my past tests, that hybrid ceramic wax is really the most chemical resistant of the four. And whereas all the other sealants were degraded to some extent by the strip car wash detergent, hybrid ceramic wax was barely affected at all. And it's really going to take a stronger degreaser or a tar remover to really degrade it or remove it, whereas the other sealants will be largely affected or stripped from the paint far easier. So hybrid ceramic wax gets first place and four points for chemical resistance. But also worth a mention here is seal and shine, which actually seems to hold up really well. And I'd say better than most sealants I've tried in the past. So seal and shine gets three points here in second place, while CMX I'd say is about average with two points and third place. And beadmaker honestly feels like running water tends to remove it. So it gets one point here and comes in fourth place. And you'll also see on the next test panel coming up that all these results were quite consistent. Now as you guys watch the remaining footage, I'll go through the last two rounds of categories and then sum up with my conclusions. Now the next round was the application and user experience, which I'm going to rate based on my past experience with applying these four sealants. First place here goes to Beadmaker. Beadmaker just wipes off super easy and it's the only one that you can apply in direct sunlight and still don't really have to worry about streaks or high spots. But even if it does slightly streak, you can literally come back to it hours later and wipe it down. So Beadmaker gets four points here coming in in first place. I'm going to give second place and three points to CMX as overall I'd say that it's a real no fuss application and probably a little better than most spray sealants on the market. Third place and two points goes to Hybrid Ceramic Wax. It's not like it's all that hard to apply or sticky to wipe down. It's just that it's really thick and takes a little longer to level down. Fourth place and one point goes to Seal and Shine. And again, it's not because it's difficult to apply, it's more so because the other sealants here are just a little better. And Seal and Shine also tends to leave the tiniest amount of product haze that can be difficult to remove without using a damp microfiber cloth. The last round is value. Now this is a harder one because the price of all these sealants does vary quite a lot depending on what part of the world you live in. So I'm going to have to base the prices on what I paid for them personally in Australia, which will most likely be a little higher than most other countries. But just to give you an idea of what I paid for them in Aussie dollars in the bottles that I used, Beadmaker was $19, Hybrid Ceramic Wax was $50, Seal and Shine was $26 and CMX was $60. Now, the really important thing you need to understand is that cost is just one factor in determining value. So you have to factor in how much product you're using per application and how long does it last or how often are you reapplying it, which is how I came to my conclusions in rating the value of each of these sealants. Now, based on its lower cost and the fact that you only need to use 50 mil at most and the fact that it shows great potential for durability, First place and four points has to go to Seal and Shine. That with all things considered really seems to be fantastic value for what you get. Second place with three points was actually super close, which goes to Hybrid Ceramic Wax. That although it does cost almost twice the price of Seal and Shine, I'd say that you can easily coat a whole car with Hybrid Ceramic Wax using just 30 mil at most, as it just goes such a long way based on my experience. And from what I've seen so far, I'd also say that it's probably going to last the longest out of all these sealants. 
but I had to deduct points from hybrid ceramic wax for the spray and rinse application that Maguire's recommends and I really don't like, as he ends up using so much more and the results are so much worse. So I'd honestly say stick to the wipe on and wipe off application. Third place and two points goes to CMX, as it is the most expensive sealant here. But at the same time, you can coat the whole car with 50ml at most, and although I don't feel it's going to be quite as durable as Seal and Shine or Hybrid Ceramic Wax, it should still be quite good. Fourth place and one point goes to Beadmaker. Although it has the cheapest purchase price, you end up using anywhere from about 150ml, which is what I personally recommend for an application, or the whole 470ml bottle, which is what many others are recommending for you to use for a base application, and what I personally think is just way too much and wasteful. But in any case, Beadmaker easily becomes the most expensive sealant per application. And what's more, it just won't last anywhere near as long as the other sealants, so you will be reapplying it a lot more often. Okay guys, so these are the final scores of the sealants, which sees Hybrid Ceramic Wax take first place with 18 out of a possible score of 24. And interestingly, both Seal and Shine and CMX equaled in second place with 15 points each, and Beadmaker came in with 12 points. So on to my conclusions. Firstly, I want to say that the reason I split up the ratings into six rounds is because not everyone cares as much about every characteristic or strength or weakness that each of these sealants contain. So if cost and value is what really matters to you, then maybe seal and shine is the way to go. And if ease of application is at the top of your list, then maybe Beadmaker is going to be the winner. And if you just want a sealant that is just consistent throughout all these areas, never being the best or the worst in any area, but just a solid, well-rounded performer, then that may be CMX. But now onto my personal thoughts and opinions. There seems to be this whole flavor of the month thing happening more and more with detailing products that is largely based on marketing and certain people's or influencers hyped up opinions rather than how these products actually perform compared to what's already out there. Without some sort of reference point, it's honestly extremely difficult to gauge any sort of substantial or valuable information. All you can really do is give your opinion, and there's nothing wrong with saying that you like or dislike something, or believing that it's fantastic or rubbish. But when someone says something like, this is the most hydrophobic sealant they've ever used, it then brings up the question of what have they used in the past. As quite honestly, some of these claims just don't make any sense at all when you actually properly test these products. And without really investigating and being fair, thorough and partial in that testing, I don't believe that you can truly evaluate any new detailing product fairly or accurately. But that's just my two cents. But with all that said and done, I'm sure you're just on the edge of your seat dying to know which sealant I'd personally choose. It's honestly not a difficult choice for me at all. It's the sealant that by far looks the best, is the most chemical resistant, displays the best water behavior, and goes a heck of a long way when you do apply it correctly. And that's Meguiar's Hybrid Ceramic Wax. Regardless of whether you're a fan of this sealant or Meguiar's as a brand, I don't think it really matters. What does matter is that it just performs exceptionally well. And that's not only just up against these other sealants, but really against any other sealant on the market today. Meguiar's really did do an outstanding job developing hybrid ceramic wax and credit where credit is due. As always, I really hope you guys enjoyed and found this video useful. Please like, comment and subscribe to this channel to show your support for these videos and I'll see you guys soon.